I see there being two big benefits to being a small independent developer. One of them is that you get to, and, and they're related actually, right? So the, the first part of it is that you get to decide exactly what you're going to do, right? If we were part of a large publisher or publisher-owned developer, you know, we don't exactly get to pick what we work on, or, or maybe they'll say, hey guys, pick what you want to work on, but then if we pick something too crazy, it's like, oh, hold on, we need to, we need to, you know, make sure we get our money back, right? So the first part of it is that we can pick anything. The field of what's possible in games is so large that we can sort of cast our fishing rod out into an area that nobody else is even looking at. Our new game, The Witness, is like that. The second half is that with that independence that we have and that ability to be free in what project we choose, we also have the freedom not to have to make a huge profit if we don't need to. I would definitely like to make our money back on this game and I would like to make a profit on it, but it's not actually the number one priority, right? The number one priority is to make the best possible game that we can make that brings the most beneficial experience to the players, right? That's absolutely number one. For a while, we had been generally interested in being on the next Sony console, so we kept up relations with with people at Sony and it, at some point those discussions naturally turned to hey we're going to have a mini preliminary dev conference soon uh, do you want to be in there and I was like well of course and that was really good and the, as soon as we did that I said hey we want a kit right now because like I said it's a much more complicated game than our last game so there's a lot to do there's a lot to think about but the trick is that there is there's magic there in the subject that we're exploring and because the game was not constrained by financial fetters, we were able to find the magic and make it as good as we possibly could. And multi-layered thing. And every layer is absolutely the best that we know how to make. So when you go in, if you just are interested in a puzzle game and you're not really looking at story or philosophy or anything like that, there is a really good puzzle game there. But if you want to read further than that, there's other layers. And that's sort of that provision for deeper engagement that allows for that little bit of ambiguity or that little bit of like, I didn't totally understand it, but then when you go look at it closely, you open it up and you discover there's a huge ton of stuff in there.